What's up guys, it's Davey here from phonebook.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to download an app from Google Play and also how to find the high quality apps that are available on Google Play as well. So first things first, I'm going to show you how to actually download an app and the way you do that is click on an app that you want. So for example, let's say I want to download Adobe Reader. I'm just going to tap on the app page and from here you can press the install button at the top right. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on that. You uh, get to a confirmation page, you hit accept and download and there you go, the app is being downloaded and will be automatically installed on your Android phone. So that's the first part of the app, but for the second part, I wanna show you guys how to actually find the high quality apps that are available. All right, so the first step in downloading a high quality app is to go to your app section on Google Play and search through either your categories such as featured, your top paid apps, or your top free apps, um, or look through specific categories such as business apps, communication apps, education, entertainment, etc. Or of course, you can just make a search for the app that you're looking for. In this case, I don't necessarily know what kind of app I want. Let's say I just want an entertainment app. So I'll tap on entertainment. And one thing I do know is I want it to be free. So I can just scroll over to top free and look at the top free apps that have to do with entertainment. So in this case, let's say I wanted to look at Mixer to see what it's all about. And you know, before I download it, there's a lot of things you could do to actually decide whether or not this app is for you. So first thing at the very top, you see pictures of the app. So you could actually tell whether or not um, the user interface is up to your standards, if you like the way it looks. Um, the next thing obviously is the description. You wanna read this to see all the features that it has and to see you know, if this is what you're actually looking for. Next thing is the reviews. Probably one of the most important things. So in this case, you can see there's been 25,582 reviews. It has an average of 4.4 uh, as far as the rating goes. It has 16,000 five-star ratings and it has 1,000 uh, one-star ratings. So it gives you a good idea as far as how good of an app it is. But with Google Play, you can actually take it one step further uh, when it comes to the reviews. So what you do is hit see all reviews and you actually have some options right here. So you can hit options and you can look at the latest version. So see what the latest update is as far as their reviews, hit okay. And you can see what people are saying about the latest version of the app or if you don't wanna do that and you just wanna look at this type of phone, so in this case, I have a Galaxy Nexus, it'll only search other people's reviews who have Galaxy Nexuses. So in this case, there's only one right here and this person left a four star uh, review or review. Another thing you could do is search through most helpful reviews or the newest reviews that have been posted about the app. Next thing you do is look at the uh, update or the most recent update. So in this case, it's March 29th, which was about two weeks ago. So it gives you an idea as far as the developer support and how often they update the app. This case looks like it's pretty recent. So you can assume that this person or this developer actually supports the app, uh, releases new features or uh, addresses bug bugs that are uh, reported to them. So that just gives you an idea that it's a higher quality app. And the last thing you could check is hit download and check the permissions that the app actually asks for. For for example, in this case, it asks for storage, it asks for system tools, GPS, phone calls, network communication, and personal information. The reason why you wanna check the permissions is because sometimes if you're looking at apps, especially not the ones that are popular, but an app that's fairly new, you wanna make sure that it doesn't intrude on your privacy and ask for things or permissions that it doesn't need. For example, a flash app shouldn't be asking for your GPS location. So anyway, you can look at the app, for example, let's say storage, why does it need my storage? And you tap on it and it'll give you a description as far as why, what that means. So system tools, it'll give you, you know, why the uh, uh, app would need system tools. And once you've decided that you like it, of course, you can just hit accept and download. And uh, you know, this whole process seems like it's a long one when I describe it, but obviously you could do it in a matter of seconds and it prevents you from having to install and uninstall apps, which could just be somewhat tedious and you know, avoid trial and error and instead uh, go off of you know the metrics that have been given to you such as ratings, descriptions, and things like that. All right, that's it for me in this video. This is Dave from phonebook.com. Thank you for watching it, and don't forget to visit phonebook.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.